agriculture is the main occupation of the people of the Indian subcontinent. About 80% of the total population depend directly or indirectly for its substance upon land. Two-third of the country's total population live on agriculture. According to legend, coffee was first discovered in Ethiopia. When shepherds noticed that their folks stayed awake all night after feeding on some leaves and berries of a plant which was known later as the coffee plant. According to mythology, Arabica coffee was grown in India during the 1670s by a Muslim pilgrim. He is reported to have brought seven Mokka coffee seeds from Yamin and raised seedlings on the Baba Budangiri hills in Chikmaklur. Sowing We start with sowing of coffee seeds. Coffee grows best in a gentle sloping area of sheltered land having large trees with fewer branches and light to medium loamy soil. It should be fenced off from cattle and other grazing animals. Coffee seeds are sown in the month of December all the way up to January. These are watered every two days to maintain moisture. These are then grown in plastic bags in a nursery. In a span of 45 days, you see saplings like trees. These saplings are then planted into pits of one into one into one size. Finally, the beautiful monsoons of Chikmaglur decide the planter's fate. The mean annual rainfall of the district is 1762 mm, which gives us an average of 4.8 mm per day, although it is not uniformly distributed. They say every flower blossoms in its own time. Chikmaglur blossoms are a sight to behold. Coffee blossoms of Chikmangalur occur nine days after the so-called blossom shower. These flowers which you see grow up to become coffee fruits in a span of nine months. During this period, there is tremendous growth of the fruits which finally ripen into dark red berries. The picking season starts around November and lasts up to February. Coffee is hand-picked in India. Whereas in countries like Brazil and Vietnam, it is machine-picked since coffee there is grown on open land. 
Most of the laborers who come for coffee picking hail from distant lands going as far as Assam. Your name is Shaheen. How many years have you been here? Two years. Which one? From Assam. Do you have to work here? How do you work here? It's good. It's good. Yes, it's good. आप कौन से जगह से हो आसान से कितने साल से यहाँ काम कर रहे हो दो साल कैसा लगता है काम करते हुए सॉर्टिंग दिस हैंड पिक कॉफी फ्रूट्स आर देन सॉर्टेड बेस्ड ऑन कलर रेंजिंग फ्रॉम ग्रीन टू ब्लैक Pulping. The good berries then go to a pulping house. Off the record, the most expensive coffee comes from Indonesian island called Kopi Luwak or Civic Coffee. This is coffee that includes partly digested coffee cherries eaten and defecated by the Asian palm civet cat. One kg reaching up to 700 US dollars per kg. Hi, I'm Abhijit uh, Bhai. I am the fourth generation uh, coffee planter of uh, pipe plantations uh, group of estates. Uh, this estate is at an elevation of about uh, 3,300 feet above mean sea level. Here we grow major variety of coffees, Arabica. We have a little bit of Robusta which is on an experimental basis. This estate uh, has a history of about uh, 100 years because it was started by my great grandfather. Uh, here in India, coffee is grown under shade. So we have two varieties of two types of shade here, that is the primary and the and the secondary shade. We have blossom showers in the month of April, March, April. So from nine months from there, with the coffee will be ripe for picking. Uh, picking harvest season uh, uh, varies from uh, November to February. So three months of coffee harvest would be there. But other nine months we would be working on the plants, maybe uh, giving them periodical sprays and uh, fertilizers and uh, pruning and various types of work and even weeding. Uh, we have then in India, because of the geographical conditions, uh, it is more labor oriented. So mechanical work is very less, unlike the other coffee countries like Brazil and Vietnam. It is more labor oriented industry here in India. And uh, we have about 100 in-house laborers uh, doing our work throughout the year. But during the picking season, we get about 250 laborers from outside to do the picking work and uh, that is their work for three months and uh, but uh, on an average we have 100 laborers working on the estate throughout the year. The pulp coffee are then spread out into large mud brick drying yards. These are then sun dried 
although some planters do utilize mechanical dryers for drying the parchment. The dried parchment is packed off in sacks of 50 kilograms each, referred to as one bag of coffee. These bags are then sent to curing works. Hello, my name is James Bray. I'm a coffee planter. I have got around 12 acres of coffee plantation. Three days. I have developed you know, coffee. Coffee, drinking coffee is very good. But cultivation of coffee is very hard. And also, after hard work, we have to work 365 days for the coffee plantation. We start from the nursery, sowing with the coffee seeds. If the egg nursery plant, we grow after five years. Coffee years. The plant should start giving coffee seeds. From there, if we get after 11 months, we get a good dried coffee. We pick up, uh, flip the coffee, bulk it to the estate, dry it, and then we send it to the curing for the grading. Thank you. Curing. This is a typical curing industry. The dried parchment is first put into a de-stoner where the coffee seed gets separated from the stones and other debris. This is then cleaned and put into a peeler and polisher. Further on, it is sent into an oscillator where it is deeply cleansed. It goes through a gravity separator where the seeds are separated according to the size of the coffee bean or seed. This is followed by grading, where the seeds are separated in a grader machine. The grated coffee seeds are then put into a color separator one by one. These separated coffee beans are then packed into sacks weighing 60 kilograms each. Basically, the place where you are standing is called a coffee curing works. It's not called as a factory as in the other cases. This is the place where we get the raw coffee from the farms, which is procured from the growers, uh, coffee growers, and it is converted into a value added product. So, the coffee is processed here to take out the outside husk or the particular cask which covers the coffee, the uh, raw coffee, and that is graded and converted into a value added product, and which is basically meant for export. And that for product what we convert it into here can be directly roasted, grounded and turned into a cup of coffee. Roasting unit Sampling of the sacks is done in a lab. A micro roasting, powdering and brewing process is done to assess the quality of the cured coffee.
Samples that pass the quality check are then directed to large scale coffee roasting and powdering units. Blending is the most beautiful part of coffee making. It involves a few secretive measures wherein each brand makes their very own well-relished combination of coffee powder and chicory which gives a splendid taste of coffee. Off to brewing. Packing. starts okay then uh, why do you prefer coffee like compared to other drinks it gives nourishment and freshness in the morning all the time you will be very fresh if you drink a coffee not like tea or any other drinks okay 